I'm from Somalia and I came to the United States three years ago and I'm here now. Smiles of pure happiness were displayed across the faces of many refugees now living in the Texas Panhandle. Sunday afternoon, the city of Amarillo acknowledged World Refugee Day and celebrated the city's growing population. We embrace their, the richness that they bring to our community and, and that we, all, we are all one in this world and, uh, and we're here to support them, to bring them from survival to empowerment. We want to help them get from just being able to survive with a minimum wage job to really reach their American dream. Hundreds came together to dance, sing, and showcase their heritage. Between the festive costumes and the traditional dances, many were glad to display parts of their culture. I'm so proud from my traditionals and those people who they don't know, maybe they don't know where we where we are doing, where we are singing, but if they understand everything, it's really, really good. While celebrating their new lives in the United States, the holiday evokes a lot of emotions, remembering that it wasn't that long ago that this day never seemed possible. It wasn't possible for many, many people to escape from the war zone to the safety of the United States. Therefore, in that, in that particular aspect of it, it has been a long journey, but it is finally worthwhile. We know how they feel, how you know how we how we get into the country. So we are very excited about to celebrate our World Refugee Days. While many dream of a day when they can return to their homeland, others have embraced their new lives in the United States and look forward to a future here. This is going to be my 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 country, my home, my place, and and uh, it, it is exciting to me. Chanel Douglas, Pro News Seven.